it's an interactive web experience and the experience is to explore the scholarship of Cornell from the perspective of what the scholarly record itself can tell us and through this we can actually um, visualize the patterns of the scholarship by looking at relationships between people and their publications and their affiliations. Scholars at Cornell is a way to capture academic information about researchers and faculty at the institution, represent that information, and then uh, display it and make it available for analysis, for discovery, for understanding of what's going on at the university. From an international perspective, um, the opportunity to collaborate with a Cornell faculty or researcher has a tremendous value in particular areas, and so uh, to find out who are the key people that are working in a certain area of science or a certain area of entrepreneurship or international policy. This is a resource that people can come to and investigate on their own. Who shall we uh, consider our peers? Who can we approach for future collaborations? One can explore scholars at Cornell to find domain experts and to explore scholarship and research across the university. The result set can be narrowed down by the given filters in the left-hand panel. You can search the experts by the subject area or by name. The person to subject area network map represents all the faculty in a selected organizational unit linked to all subject areas in which faculty have published. These subject areas are derived from the subject area classifications of the journals assigned by the publishers. The keyword cloud on a faculty's page represents the scholarly fingerprints of the author which is an aggregation of the keywords found in all of the author's articles. A user can click on any keyword to see the list of actual articles that mention this keyword. Arguably it could be anyone and everyone because anyone who has an area of interest, be it you know, what is going on with bird migration to um, what is the latest research in breast cancer, to what are the effects of climate change. I mean, anyone who wants to look at this from the perspective of the research that's been done at Cornell can actually examine the research from that subject area perspective and find the experts at Cornell. So it's important for the library to understand where scholars are publishing, um, what their material research data sets or other outputs are, where those outputs are appearing, because the library is responsible for making sure that those research outputs are preserved, maintained, and accessible for the long term. Another group that um, has already expressed a significant interest in scholars at Cornell um, are the people who are responsible for communications about the output of Cornell, the scholarly research, and taking on a celebratory type of perspective of showcasing. Uh, what Cornell has done. Global collaboration maps highlight the institutions with whom our faculty and researchers collaborated with in the past. Information can be filtered for a specific academic unit, a specific subject area, or a specific time range. Internal collaborations use a zoomable co-authorship wheel. We present grant data where a Cornell faculty member or researcher is either a principal or co-principal investigator. The data is represented as a cluster of bubbles where each bubble represents a grant and the size of the bubble indicates the relative award amount. So we really see scholars at Cornell ramping up over the next few years to fully encompass the entire research program of the institution. Right now we're piloting um, scholars with uh, a couple of colleges and departments. Um, we're really seeking to grow that to uh, cover and represent 
the entirely, entire scholarly output of the institution and really capture all the research areas. And in the long term, potentially um, represent research collaborations, not only within and among the Cornell researchers, but with outside programs, uh, institutions. So how can you understand our, our relationship to, uh, to peer institutions, to um, cooperative extension, to research abroad e efforts, um, really capture the full breadth of, uh, of research and scholarship both within Cornell and then as Cornell reaches out to the rest of the world.